In this video, I'll show you how to use the Verhulst population model. The question reads, compute the population for 20 time periods using the nonlinear growth equation. Use a starting population of 0.8 and a birth rate B of 2. Also, what happens when B is less than 1 and what happens when B is equal to 3? We'll start off by finding out what happens when B is equal to 2 and the formula that we'll be using is shown right here. We know that at the beginning, there's a starting population of 0 0.8. So I'm going to write down 0 0.8 here. To find out what happens when t is equal to 1, let's try to understand this equation. They're saying that the output is equal to b. So at t is equal to 1, your b value doesn't change. That's still 2. Then you use the previous y output, which in our case was decimal 8, times... 1 minus 0 0.8. Using our calculator for this, we should end up for the output when t is equal to 1. 2 times decimal 8 times 1 minus decimal 8 gives us 0 0.32. Let's do the other ones. At t is equal to 2, we have 2, b doesn't change, and this time we're going to use 0 0.32, 0 0.32 times 1 minus 0 0.32. Using our calculator once again, 2 times decimal 32 times 1 minus decimal 32. And that gives us 0 0.4352 or simply 0 0.43. Let's do one more before I fill it in for you. At t is equal to 3, we have 2 times 0 0.43 times 1 minus 0 decimal 43. This gives us 2 times decimal 43 times 1 minus decimal 43 we end up with 0 0.49. I'm going to fill in what happens at 4 and 20. Okay, so I've gone ahead and filled out what happens at 4 and 20, and it turns out that any number that you choose for t between 4 and 20 will be 0 decimal 50. To graph our findings, we can create an x and y chart that looks like this, and this will represent our t and this will represent our outputs, y subscript t. At 0, we're at, and we'll call this 1, decimal 5, and 0. So at time 0, we have 0 0.8. And then it dips down to 0, decimal 32. And then back to 0, decimal 43. And this is just a sketch, so it's not purely accurate. At 4, we have decimal 50, so it dips down using a smooth curve, dips down like this, and then it levels off at 50 for a long period of time. And what this tells us about the population is that the population is stable. When you have a birth rate of 2, the population stabilizes, and that's a good thing. The question also asks, what happens when b is less than 1? Let's say, for example, b is equal to 0 0.9, and when b is equal to 3. It turns out that when b is equal to 0 0.9, as shown here, the population dies out eventually. And when b is equal to 3, the population oscillates between two values. This is why it's important for there to be a constant birth rate in a population. That way the population stabilizes, which ensures a good future for that species. And so there you have it. That is how to use the Verholst population model.